In example 12, we're given a combination circuit. The way to deal with a combination circuit is to try to simplify it into an either in a series or a parallel circuit. So by combining B and C into one resistor, I end up with a series circuit. So now I'll fill in a second chart where I know the resistance A is 300 ohms and B in parallel with C is 667 ohms. I still have my 9 volt battery. But now that I have a series circuit, I can simply add up the two resistors to get a total resistance of 9, 6, 7 ohms. And I can copy that back to this table. Now the total current can be found using Ohm's law of V equals IR. And my I turns out to be 0 0.0093 amps. That's the amount of current going around this entire circuit. Here that would be the current going around this way, but then it splits up between B and C, comes back together, and goes back to the battery. So really I can copy this current for the current through A, the current through B and C together. I can bring it back over here, 0 0.0093 for the total current, 0 0.0093 for current through A, but I can't copy it for B and C because B and C together get the point zero zero nine three. I can use the Ohm's law here or here to get the voltage drop across resistor A. V equals IR gives me 2.79 volts. There are two ways you can get the voltage drop across B and C. Kirchhoff's voltage rule says that the total voltage gained in the battery is lost through all the resistors, so 9 minus 2.79 would give me 6.21. Or I can do Ohm's law here, and it gives me 6.20. The only difference is because of errors in rounding. That's the voltage drop across B and C. Remember, they're in parallel to each other. They get the same voltage drop. And now I can use Ohm's law to figure out the currents. The currents are 0 0.0062 amps and 0 0.0031 amps. Notice Kirchhoff's current rule applies here. The total current coming into this junction is 0 0.0093. And the total current leaving is 0 0.0062 plus 0 0.0031, giving us the same amount of current. Part C asks us what would happen if we removed resistor B. If we move, remove resistor B, then the resistance is now just a series circuit. The resistance is 2300 ohms, so our total resistance increased, which means our total current must go down, which means the current through resistor A went down, and so the voltage drop across resistor A went down. But according to Kirchhoff's voltage rule, all the voltage gained in the battery must be lost through the resistors, so if VA is lower, VC is higher. And being that the resistance of C doesn't change, the current through C must also increase.